I had a young lady when I taught high school who she was tardy um, all the time because she came from a very difficult situation. Did it excuse her that she came from a difficult situation from being to school on time? Absolutely not. However, when she was tardy three times, the school's policy was suspension. Think about how silly that is. I'm not coming to school on time, so don't come at all. So we really weren't doing a good job with teaching this child about accountability. Teaching her accountability was saying to her, this is the cumulative minutes that you have been tardy for this week. These are the cumulative minutes that you owe back to your teachers. What is going to be your plan? I'm going to give you some ideas, and I want you to come to me tomorrow and tell me what your plan is going to be and how you're going to get that to your teachers. So she had to think of a plan on how she was going to give up her personal time during the day in order to be accountable to her teachers. And that's all she could do. She didn't have a bus ride into school. She couldn't make the bus on time. There was lots of chaos in her house. The police were there every night. One parent's incarcerated. Still didn't excuse her ability to get to school on time. And after a while, she learned you know, through that process where she said, you know, I'm thinking I could apply this to how to actually get to school on time. And I was like, oh, you know, it was like that aha moment where she says, now I'm going to do something at home that's going to help me get to school on time. But that was a process to help her through that. We could have just kicked her out and suspended her every time she was tardy for three days. That didn't do any good. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. I speak and consult on school behavior, and I love to help districts solve some of these problems. See you next time.